Collection method prior and next are the last two collection functions which we will be learning today. What's up internet? I am Manish from RebellionRider.com and I am back once again with another PL SQL tutorial. Before starting, let me remind you to hit that thumbs up button and like the video. Also, if you are new to this channel, then go ahead and subscribe. One more thing, don't forget to share this video with your friends. That being said, let's start the tutorial. It is always good to have some functions under your sleeves which can help you in navigating through the content of your collection. The function prior and next could be those functions. Both these functions take an index of the collection as input and return the result. For example, plsql collection method prior takes an index as input and return the value stored into the previous lowest index. Whereas the collection method next returns the value from the next higher index. Let's do an example and try to understand what does it mean. Here I just created a nested table with the name my nested table and initialized it using the collection object var underscore nt. I also stored 10 numeric values into it. That is actually the same nested table which we created in PL SQL tutorial 51 on how to create nested tables. So if you have any confusion about the nested table, you can refer to that tutorial. All the links are in the description of the video. Anyways, let's move ahead. So here we have our execution section of this PL SQL block. In this section, I have two almost identical output statements. The only difference between these two is the way we call the collection function prior. In the first statement, we have a very simple function call of collection method prior where we are calling the function prior using the collection object var underscore nt. This statement will return the index number. I know it is obvious that index prior to 3 is 2 or index prior to 2 will be 1. Then the question arises that what is the need of calling the function like that? Though this statement is returning the index number which sounds obvious and somewhat irrelevant but if we supply this whole function call as the parameter to the collection object then we can easily get our desired result which is the value stored in the prior index. That's exactly what we did in the next statement. As you can see here, I have used the function call from the previous statement as a parameter to the collection object. On execution, this statement will return the value stored at the prior index. Let's execute and see the result. Here is our result. The output from the first statement is 2. And the output from the second statement is 18, which is the value stored at index 2, which is prior to the index 3. Hope this made the working of prior function clear and you have learned how to work with this collection function. Now let's come to another collection method, which is next. As mentioned above that the PL SQL collection method next takes an index of the collection as input and returns the value stored at the next subscript or the value stored at the next higher index. Let's modify this code and see what will be the output of the collection method next. We don't have to change much in this code. We will just change the function calls here. Let's also update the text so that it will look grammatically correct. Okay, done. On execution, the output from the first statement will be 4 
because that is the next higher index after 3 and the output from the second statement will be 36 because that is the value stored at the index 4 which is the next highest index after 3. Let's execute and see the result. And here is our result. As you can see the result of first statement is 4 and the result of second statement is 36. That is how we use PLSQL collection method prior and next in Oracle database. I have a question for you. In this tutorial we saw that we can use both these collection methods with nested table. But can we use function next and prior with associative arrays? Best way to find out the answer is to go ahead and create an associative array and try using these functions with that. If you get it done then take a screenshot and share it with me on my Twitter and Facebook. I will review your code right there and will give you a huge shout out on my social media. Don't forget to check out the blog on the same topic because there I will answer those questions which you can expect in your certification exam as well as in your interview. I highly suggest you to check out that blog. Link is in the description. Also, do make sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel. That's the tutorial on PL SQL collection method prior and next in Oracle database. Thanks for watching. This is Manish from rebellionrider.com.